Now at 11, a boy's deadly distraction. What kept him from noticing a train speeding towards him? Trees on homes, debris still scattered, tornado victims cry, where are the cleanup crews? How the city answers that tonight. And the little known condition killing women, being blamed on an overuse of C-sections. Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. Good evening, everyone. Chuck is off tonight. Witnesses say an eighth grader never heard the train that took his life. He was distracted by something so many people use, an iPod. The boy was just blocks from Hackensack Middle School when the train hit him. He was walking home at the time. Tom Yamas has late details. The young man was walking in this direction northbound. The train was just behind him, but he couldn't hear the train nor the train horn because of the iPod. Now, even though he wasn't on the tracks, he was right along the railway, and when the train came by, it clipped his right shoulder, sending him flying into the street. I just want to send my condolences to, the, to his family, you know, and I, my prayers is with them. This young man could barely speak after witnessing a New Jersey transit train hitting and killing a 12-year-old boy in Hackensack. What I witnessed was, was a tragedy. Um, you know, for that to happen to anybody, especially a young boy, you know, it's heartbreaking. Investigators identified the victim as Caesar Maloki, an eighth grader at Hackensack Middle School. The accident happened along Railroad Avenue near High Street. Investigators say Maloki was walking right along the tracks when the train clipped him. He apparently never heard the train because he was listening to an iPod. Eyewitnesses say there was a car traveling in the opposite direction towards the boy. At one point, the boy stepped off, then back on the curb, losing his balance too close to the tracks. The accident temporarily shut down New Jersey Transit both ways on the Pascack Valley line between Essex Street and Spring Valley. Well, it's a tragedy. This is not the first kid here in Hackensack being killed by the tra train. Hackensack resident Linda Foster has lived across the tracks for 15 years and says accidents like these are going to happen with no barricades keeping people away from the fast-moving trains. Conductor has actually stopped the train here and got off to chase kids. And they've actually asked, do you know these kids? But it's a shame because they've been doing it for years. New Jersey Transit says the train's engineer did apply the emergency brake, but it was too late because the train was going too fast. In Hackensack, Tom Yamas, News 4 New York. No calm after the storm. Tornado victims in Queens and Brooklyn say they've asked for help with all the damage done, but there's no fix in sight. Andrew Siff is live in Forest Hills. Andrew, how many homes are we talking about now? Well, David, let's look at it this way. 16,000 storm-related calls to the city's 311 line between Thursday and Sunday, and 7,000 of those calls had to do with trees, either a limb or a trunk, down on a house or a car. That's a lot of calls, and the city says it's working as fast as it can to clean things up. We want to know when the city's going to show up in our area. A simple question, but no easy answers for people who still have a tree on their house or on their car or on their sidewalk. As one official put it, Forest Hills has lost its forest. How do we know it's a disaster beyond their capability? FEMA's Lynn Canton will lead a team of federal inspectors through storm-damaged neighborhoods on Wednesday. If the tornado did more than $25 million worth of damage, some residents can get some money back, even if they don't have insurance. But, cautions the city's top emergency management official. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not a slam dunk, so we're going to have to go through it. There are lots of things that FEMA accept and do not. What college student Natalie Rojas of Flushing finds unacceptable, there are still giant limbs on her family's house five days after the tornado and still no power. It's frustrating and it's stressful and I'm hungry and there's nothing to cook, so I got to go eat out. I can't even charge my phone. I have to go to my school to charge my phone. And her neighbor says some of the damage could have been minimized if New York kept a closer eye on trees before storms. The city don't take care of these trees. I put in a complaint four years ago, five years ago, for them to trim the tree that was over my house. It was bigger than this. It went further, like up to my chimney. Now, the Parks Department says it is trying to take care of the trees just as fast as it can. Parks Commissioner Adrian Benepe in a statement tonight said that tens of thousands of trees were knocked down in the tornado. Hundreds of streets were closed. Almost all of them have been reopened, but it could be weeks still before 
everything is cleaned up. We're live in Forest Hills tonight. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. Andrew, thank you. New York Mets pitcher Francisco K. Rod Rodriguez is expected to turn himself into police tomorrow to face charges that he violated a restraining order. Rodriguez will be arraigned on criminal contempt charges for allegedly sending text messages to his girlfriend. He had been ordered not to communicate with her. The Mets closer is already facing assault charges for allegedly punching his girlfriend's father at City Field last month. Sue, more money woes for New York City tonight as Mayor Bloomberg calls for an immediate hiring freeze and another round of budget cuts. The mayor is looking to slash the city's already lean budget by a total of $2 billion. The police department, the fire department, school system have been ordered to trim 2.7 percent from their budgets, while all other agencies are being asked to cut double that. In Brooklyn, it was their turn to weigh in on the proposed MTA fair hike tonight. Strap hangers sounded off in Park Slope. This was the ninth and final stop on the MTA's public hearing tour. Officials say despite public opposition, fares and tolls will rise to help close a huge budget gap. One plan calls for an unlimited 30-day card to cost $104. A final vote is set for next month. A year-long fight to build an affordable housing project on Long Island hit a snag tonight, and the decision made a standing-room-only crowd go wild. Katie Turr reports. Uncle Jim! You can see it on their faces and hear it in their voices. Those opposed to the Avalon Bay Huntington Station apartment complex, the hundreds who showed up for the city council vote, knew they had won. Resolution is defeated. The outcome, two in support, three opposed. The sprawling 490-unit development to be built in this wooded area just behind the Huntington LIRR stop did not get the change in zoning laws it needed to go forward. No to making the area a transit-oriented development. I believe that this is something that Huntington Station truly needs at this point in time. I believe it would have been a really good um, economic development piece. It's supporters who argued that Huntington needed more affordable housing, not to mention the jobs and tax revenue that would come along with it, were just as telling in their reaction, or lack thereof. This was one big chance that we had to really put a hundred million dollars into the community. Ultimately, people like Matt Harris, who created the Facebook page Say No to Avalon Bay, walked out of the meeting in victorious spirits. We have the majority of the high density housing and they wanted to put in a lot more. The key component in this entire decision was really the school board. When the school board announced they would not support the project, Councilman Mark Cuthbertson, the swing vote in this, also announced that he would no longer vote yes. In Huntington, Katie Turr, News 4 New York. Now to a developing story in the race for governor in New York. The New York Post is reporting that Mayor Bloomberg will endorse Democrat Andrew Cuomo possibly as early as tomorrow. Cuomo still holds a double-digit lead over Republican Carl Palladino in the polls, but the Post reports that the announcement may be designed to overshadow new numbers due out tomorrow. The Port Authority says it will spend a billion dollars to make key upgrades on the Bayonne Bridge. The money will go towards fixing the bridge's so-called height problem, an issue that will become critical in 2015 when the Panama Canal begins accommodating larger vessels. Those vessels would be too tall to pass under the Bayonne Bridge as it is now. Today, Governor Christie said improving the bridge ensures the shipping industry will remain a vital part of New Jersey's economy. President Obama arrives in the city tomorrow, and on Thursday, both Mr. Obama and Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad will be speaking before the U.N. Well, that was gridlock in Midtown Manhattan today, thanks to all the security surrounding the U.N. General Assembly, and it could be about to get worse. The heightened security is costing the city an estimated five to seven million dollars. Still ahead, the nation's top experts come together with one common cause, getting rid of bed bugs. We'll tell you what they're doing, plus this. Dozens and dozens of women are dying from a little known condition, and one doctor blames the overuse of C-sections. We'll take a look. They call themselves the baddest marching band here in Brooklyn, and they have the resume to back it up. But soon funding could be putting an end to their performance. I'm DeMarco Morgan with How You Can Help, coming up. On the next Nate Berkus show. We kidnapped your kitchen. Oh my God. 
I'm such a great name. How to organize your kitchen like a pro and how to bring sexy back in your bedroom. <laughs> Business Day, Bank of America lends billions of dollars to individuals, institutions, schools, organizations, and businesses. Working to set opportunity in motion. Bank of America. It's the mother of all minivans. Available with Live Flow TV, you connect web, Wi Fi hotspot, voice recognition more multimedia choices than your home, a five-star frontal and side crash test rating. And oh yeah, it literally gave birth to all other minivans. Now get 0% APR financing for 60 months, plus $500 bonus cash on the 2010 Grand Caravan. Why is travel these days about what you give up and not what you get? Like electricity for gadget power at your seat. Room to stretch your legs and your wingspan. Food when you're hungry. And taking off your shoes only if you feel like it. These aren't luxuries, they're basics. Get them back on a Sella. I was driving to Northern California. My son was asleep. I really didn't see it coming. I didn't realize I was drifting into the other lane. It got my attention, telling me that I wasn't paying attention. I had no idea the guy in front of me had stopped short, but my car did. My car did. Thankfully, my Mercedes did. A world you can't predict demands a car you can trust. The E-Class. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial. The debate over cesarean versus natural birth goes back generations. But tonight, one local mother has a warning for expectant parents about a little-known condition that can be deadly. Linda Beccaro reports that condition is becoming more prevalent in our area. For most women, pregnancy is a time of joy. But for this New Jersey mom of four, her most recent pregnancy turned terrifying after a mid-term sonogram. The diagnosis was a complete previa and placenta procreta. It was something I'd never heard of, I didn't know could happen to a person, and it was very scary. You read about women who can die from it. We have lost a lot of mothers in the state of New Jersey from Accreta. The doctor says about 40 women died last year in New Jersey as a result of Accreta. Jenny, who doesn't want her last name reported, had three prior cesarean section deliveries, which put her at risk. She was diagnosed with the most serious type called placenta per Creta. That's when the placenta attaches itself abnormally deep into the uterine wall. The moment you try to put a clamp in it, it rips and they bleed. And hemorrhage is the major problem that people have with placenta creta. I found the support group online, which was great, because it was a lot of women who had already been on, the, on, on my side and were now on the other side, mm -hmm. so that they could assure me that, hey, you know what, you don't, you're not necessarily going to die from this. Dr. Alcon says he's seeing more and more cases of this potentially deadly condition, and he blames the continued rise in the number of C-sections. If we don't do anything about decreasing cesarean section rates in this country, we are going to have a lot of mothers who are going to lose their lives. I would just say that if you haven't given your chance, yourself a chance at labor, I would. Dr. Alcon delivered Jenny's baby safely three months ago, and although she suffers some discomfort, she's grateful to be alive. I feel great. He's great. I'm great. So everything worked out well, thank goodness. And now she wants her case to be a warning for other moms. In Hackensack, Linda Baccaro, News 4, New York. Linda's story started when someone pointed out this dangerous trend in New Jersey. If you have a story idea for us, email tips at NBCNewYork.com. You'll find a link at the top of our homepage. The police department wants help in identifying an accident victim with memory loss. The victim was riding his bike about three weeks ago in the Bronx when he hit a pillar supporting elevated subway tracks. He's now in St. Barnabas Hospital recovering. He's described as Hispanic in his early 30s, 
about five foot six. Anyone with information is asked to call 1-800-577-TIPS. Well, we know by now there's a bed bug epidemic here, and the critters are infesting many other cities nationwide. That's why some of the nation's greatest minds are now scratching their heads over bed bugs in Chicago this week at the first large scale bed bug summit in the U.S. Entomologists from top universities, including Yale and Cornell, are taking part. Top medical experts and extermination teams are sharing the best known information on infestations to date. They're also showing off possible tools and solutions. Well, they've captured the hearts of millions with their show-stopping moves and unforgettable tunes. But tonight, the Brooklyn group of students who make up the Soul Tigers marching band need your help. DeMarco Morgan reports. At every command, loud and clear, Brooklyn's very own Soul Tigers marching band here at IS-292 are not to be underestimated when it comes to their smarts, talents, and, of course, their high-stepping techniques. Of course, best band in Brooklyn. Can nobody touch us? But drum major Edwin Figueroa knows that without the proper funding, the internationally renowned marching band could take a mighty blow to its program. Without the funding, you can't no longer continue the program. There's always things needed, new drums, new sticks, new heads. Without that, there's no band. Budget cuts across the state and city, according to band director Kenyatta Hughes, are now putting the program at risk. A group of more than 100 students with only 30 uniforms to work with. Well, that means that we have no instructors um, to teach the kids. And that to keep the program going, I would have to teach all components of the marching band. Wow. Now, it's about more than just dancing and the beats to go along with it. The band keeps most of these kids off the streets. Before I came to this band, I was constantly getting in trouble. East New York is, if you watch the news, you see something's always happening here. The band recently traveled to Africa, has led the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and has performed with Jessica Simpson, just to name a few. Now they are in dire need of funding, volunteers, and uniforms to keep the program up and marching. I feel like if we can keep 125, 130 kids off the street with the marching band, why not, you know, support this program and keep it running by any means necessary? Students are hoping someone watching will join in on the beat, lending a helping hand. To Marco Morgan at News 4 New York. If you'd like to help the group, go to NBCNewYork.com and search Soul Tigers. New York has gathered at a gala tonight in Midtown to celebrate a group of young adults realizing their dreams thanks to a local not-for-profit. The organization New Yorkers for Children raises money to help kids transitioning out of foster care become successful, self-sufficient adults. The funds help provide college scholarships and cover the cost of living expenses, books, and tutors for thousands of foster children. Let's turn to Janice now with the weather. I don't know if you noticed there was a Kanye West sighting there. No, I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, he was in the crowd. I oh. was actually there tonight, so yes, he was oh. there. His girlfriend, Salita, was the uh, honor was the host tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, the model, Salita. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes of course. Was, Ebanks, yes, she was there. Right. It was quite the night. And uh, yes, weather-wise, also quite the night, too. Nice and mild out. Uh, winds are out of the southwest, so that's going to keep it mild across the area for the rest of tonight and help the temperature soar tomorrow into the 80s for the last full day of summer. Here's a look outside right now from our Top of the Rock cam camera. Clear tonight as the view is beautiful out there. 65 degrees is the temperature. We're not expecting it to drop too much lower than where it is right now due to that southwest wind. On the other hand, we're looking at tropicals now, uh, tropics now and the tropical update. And uh, Lisa, tropical storm is stationary just off the African coast. Top winds 45 miles per hour. So it's not moving very much. We're not too worried about it. It's no threat to land. This tropical wave, though, over the uh, Caribbean will start moving more westward. So that has about a 50 percent chance of strengthening to a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the next uh, couple of days. Our high today, 74. It'll be 10 degrees warmer at least tomorrow. 54 was our morning low. So the cool nights are going to slide away after tonight for some very warm days. Uh, 60s and 50s on the map from Poughkeepsie to Sussex to Islip and Bridgeport, 61 in Belmar. And back to the West, we see more warm air. Detroit is 79 degrees right now. It's 75 in Columbus, Ohio, and 77 in Erie. And all that warm air surges in our direction for tomorrow on the heels of the southwest wind. 
This cold front is creating some thunderstorms tonight. A big difference in the air masses there. Temperatures much cooler behind it, some 15 to 20 degrees. And that front's coming our way tomorrow, and it gets close to us tomorrow evening. And it looks like it will produce some thunderstorms in the area around 7, 8 o'clock. Now, as these drift southward at 7 o'clock, we'll see some showers in and around the city. And across central New Jersey, we could be looking at some strong storms about 8.30. We'll be watching that as it moves eastward tomorrow night. Everything should clear out, though, by midnight and hopefully we won't see any severe weather, but we'll let you know uh, tomorrow as the time gets closer and we get more information from our forecast models. In the meantime, tomorrow, uh, Thursday's the first full day of fall, but it's not going to feel like it. The temperatures will stay in the 80s, close to 90 through Friday, 85 tomorrow, 83 on Thursday, 88 on Friday. Then it starts to get a little bit better and cools off. Saturday is great, 78. Sunday, some clouds, turns cooler at 70, and some spot showers here and there Monday and Tuesday. And that's a check of your weather. Thank you, Janice. Sure. Well, still ahead, how you can own Princess Diana's diamonds. Plus a change for the MTA, and the agency hopes it will pay off big. And straight ahead here on this fine program, the two teams in the American League East going at it again up in the Bronx. The Bombers hoping to put a little room between themselves and Tampa. Plus the Jets hand down punishment for Braylon Edwards after his DWI arrest. You may be shocked at the penalty. We'll see you later on in sports on News 4 New York at 11. Rover Sport, powered by intelligence. My son Ryan didn't know his voulez-vous from his frère Jacques. So he decided to study in Paris to see French masterpieces with his very own eyes. We even linked our Citibank account to his, so when his account ran low, we just transferred funds. I just hope the language isn't a barrier. Bonjour. My Ryan can be very shy. From linked accounts to City Mobile, we make it simple to manage your finances. What's your story? Citibank can help you write it. Why design a vehicle with 88 vibration control measures? Why engineer 20 available systems that sense and respond to your needs before you're even aware of them? Because the average driver spends over 40,000 hours of their lifetime driving. The 2010 Lexus ES, uniquely designed to make every hour feel just as remarkable as the first. Lease the 2010 ES350 for $389 a month for 36 months with $4088 due at signing. Hey Parker, wanna okay. race home? Bet I can beat you there. With its 43 safety features, like the Park View rear backup camera. Hi, sweetie, there you Electronic are. vehicle information center and rear cross path detection system. Now available in the safety tech package. The Chrysler Town and Country is a safe bet to make. Now lease a well-equipped town and country touring with the Safety Tech Package for $2.59 a month for well-qualified returning lessees. Once he carried you across the threshold, today he can barely carry himself. Now what? Ask your doctor about the Visiting Nurse Service of New York. VNSNY. It's the right care now. Winner of the highest predicted residual value rating in its class. Five years in a row. The 2010 Range Rover Sport. Powered by intelligence. The MTA has unveiled its latest plan to boost revenue. Starting today, subways and LIRR trains will run video ads. Commuters got their first look at the ads on the 42nd Street shuttle. Officials will consider extending the LIRR program by the end of its three-month trial if it's deemed successful. Auction goers will soon be able to own a piece of jewelry that once belonged to the late Princess Diana. Guernsey's auction house is putting part of the Swan Lake collection up for sale this Friday. A diamond and pearl necklace is believed to be the last piece of jewelry worn by Diana. Also being sold, a pair of earrings that were completed shortly before she died. We'll be right back with Scott Stanford and sports.
When people say, Mike, why Ford? Why now? You know what I tell them? Fuel efficiency. Take the Ford Focus with up to an EPA estimated 35 highway miles per gallon. Gas mileage is huge for me, so that's great. Or the 2010 Ford Fusion, a fuel economy that Honda Accord and Toyota Camry can top. Amazing. And if you're looking for the most fuel efficient SUV on the planet, that would be the Escape Hybrid. Ford's helping make the world a little greener. Now, current competitive lessees can lease an Escape for $199 a month for 24 months. Just $199. Visit your local Ford dealer and drive. I'm Ahmed Maddy, and I'm a home builder. My father brought me up to give back to society. Felisa Jackson promised her late sister that she would take care of her children, but she needed help. I used my American Express Open Card to get half a million points to buy building materials to help build the Jackson family a new home. Well, I know if my dad was still around, he would have told me, with no doubt. He would have told me it's a no-brainer, and I knew that from the start. It was an honor. Booming is moving forward by giving back. On a new J, Ed Helms brings a sneak peek of this week's office premiere and a little jump and jaywalking. Then Jimmy plays charades with Tina Fey. New Tonight Show, new late night tonight. Hey, and catch the premiere of Undercovers and a two-hour SVU tomorrow on NBC. My parents always hoped that their kids could live the American dream. My dad was an exterminator, my mom a housewife. They struggled to send me to college. That's why I fought so hard to help middle-class families get a fair shake. Now families making up to $160,000 a year get a $2,500 tax cut, an actual tax cut for each kid in college. Chuck Schumer. The one New Yorkers count on to fight for the middle class. I'm Chuck Schumer, and I approve this message. for your whole carpool. Looks like we'll be traffic. The 271 horsepower Accord Cross Tour from Honda. The Verizon Fios Sports Desk is brought to you by Verizon Fios. It's time for New York's highest rated TV and internet service. It's time for Fios. Scott's here now. The Yankees have a chance to do some damage tonight. Look, going to do some pulling away there, Dave. You know, the Yankees were looking to follow up last night's terrific George Steinbrenner tribute and win over the Rays with another victory against Tampa tonight. And in the process, add a little pad to that game and a half lead in the American League East. Let's go bottom one. I'm swishing on a star. Rose Royce, right? Nick Swisher jumps all over James Shields for his 27th homer. Yankees batted around in the first, scored five times. They're leading the East now up to two and a half games. Phil Hughes wins number 17, 8 to 3 was your final. Mets fans, your boys lose in Florida 5 2. They are officially out of playoff contention. Oh, no. They're gone. Okay, several people asking me after Braylon Edwards was arrested and charged with DWI today. Hey, Scott, what do you think will happen to Edwards? Does he get cut, suspended a few games? What? Well, we have our answer tonight as the Jets have said Edwards will indeed suit up and play in Miami on Sunday. His punishment, he won't start. Gang Green really laying down the hammer on this one, huh? It was originally Edwards' overly tinted windows that got him pulled over at around 5 o'clock this morning. He was on the west side. Authorities then say they smelled alcohol. Had Edwards take a breathalyzer and his blood uh, alcohol level was at .16, twice the state's legal limit. Edwards had four other passengers in the car, including teammates to Brickashaw Ferguson and Vernon Golston. He spent the day in police custody, was arraigned this afternoon. Here's his attorney, Peter Frankel. Without question, absolutely. He understands the seriousness of the situation, and he is committed to getting back on the football field and doing what he does best for the Jets. You know what, the only thing I can really comment on is the fact that he's very anxious to get back to the Jets. That's where he's headed. He wants to be with his teammates, he wants to speak to his coach, and he wants to get back on the uh, football field. Obviously very difficult for him. He's just anxious to get back to the Jets, to the organization. That's what's been exclusively on his mind. That's what he's been talking about, and that's where he's headed right now. Did I mention his blood alcohol level was twice the legal limit? Now, driving that SUV in that condition, just as dangerous as carrying an unlicensed gun, see Plaxico. Fortunately for Edwards, police stopped him before his metaphoric gun went off and killed or seriously injured himself. The people in his car, someone else on the road. And the team punishment for this is that he doesn't start 
That's the penalty for missing a team meeting or showing up late to practice. Edwards should have known better as Dante Stallworth, his then teammate in Cleveland in 2009, killed a pedestrian while driving drunk. Now, once the law takes its course, Edwards could be suspended by the league. I really think the Jets, uh, Jets rather dropped the ball on this one. You know, it's kind of like if I got a DWI uh -huh. and management said to me, well, we're not going to let you do the 6 o'clock, but mm -hmm. you can suit up for the 11. It's okay. No, yeah. Nobody ever has to take responsibility. I, I think they really dropped the ball on that one. All right. Okay. Thank you, Scott. All right, guys. It is time now to see uh, what Jimmy Fallon has coming up on Late Night at 1230. Hey, Sue and David. I've got charades with Tina Fey, Colin Hanks, music by Robert Plant, Fan of Joy, plus shout out, pros and cons tonight. After Jay, he's what? I'm Brian Williams. If you can't watch nightly news live every day, TiVo us. Record us on your DVR. That way you can watch anytime. NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams, where the world unfolds nightly. Unlike other vehicles in its class, the seven-passenger, 300-horsepower MDX comes with Acura's patented super-handling all-wheel drive. With the available advanced package, the MDX also features a unique multi-angle widescreen rear-view camera because performance shouldn't be limited to just going forward. The restyled Acura MDX. Discover it in a test drive. Take advantage of attractive lease rates on the 2010 Acura MDX for well-qualified customers. Can your family afford another tax right now? Dick Blumenthal thinks you can. He personally lobbied the U.S. Senate to pass a new national energy tax. It will increase the average Connecticut electric bill nearly $1,000 a year. Gas will increase 68 cents per gallon. And Connecticut will lose over 13,000 jobs. We can't afford another tax. And we can't afford Dick Blumenthal. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. Peace, pride, victories. For nearly 70 years, we've had a lot to cheer about, and the celebration is just getting started. Introducing the 2011 Jeep Wrangler and the all-new 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, both with legendary Jeep 4x4 capability and Wrangler with a redesigned interior. Our entire line of Jeep vehicles is a definite cause for celebration. Now lease the all-new 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4x4 for $399 a month for well-qualified lessees. My parents have always lived in Queens, until two years ago when my dad transferred to Istanbul. They settled in quickly, found their local deli, a few shortcuts, and a neighborhood hangout. But there's one thing they miss, their beloved New York Mets. So I asked City how many thank you points it would take to give them something special. Their old seats, five and six, row C. City thank you points can be used for almost anything you choose. What's your story? City can help you write it. I did my research. That's why I'm buying a Toyota. But I want the best deal possible. So I'm looking for just the right time to buy. Hmm. Honey, I think now's the time. It's Toyota's Now's the Time sales event. And right now, you can lease a stylish new 2011 Toyota Camry for just $179 a month. Hurry in, because now's the time. Closed captioning provided by Toyota. Get something you can trust. Visit toyota.com. That will do it for News for New York at 11. The Tonight Show is next. Jay has Ed Helms, Casey Affleck, and Cheryl Crow tonight. Wake up with Today in New York at 4.30. Good night.